Welcome to the world of the pilot. I will be your tour guide tonight. My name is Sheen. If you are experiencing lag due to the number of users we have, there is a new setting available in VR chat. Hit escape and go to your safety settings. Then go to performance. Then Click the new Advanced Graphics button. In Advanced Graphics, you can lower the graphic quality and the multi-sample anti-aliasing. If you turn that down to disabled and to its lowest number, you will reduce your lag significantly, especially when we have many people here, such as tonight. I'll give all of you about 10 seconds to do this if you need to. Thank you, Shane. Please do that. I, fi I, I figured out why your glasses were weird. Before. <laughs> Let's all thank VR chat for this new setting. Now then, friends, while you're in the settings menu, please, don't forget to turn up your world music. Music is an important part of the tour. You should turn it up to whatever is comfortable, to where you can clearly hear the wind in this room. Oh uh, yeah, that wind is definitely clear. All right, my friends, enough talk, and welcome to the story of the pilot. This is an interactive story-based tour, and as with any tour in the real world, I politely ask that you remain silent during narration. However, you do are required to talk while we walk. <coughs> please feel welcome to stream or take pictures, and please feel welcome to work together toward new endings. My friends, please Why? click the yellow. Why did you give an into Genshin, Plummels? I hate Genshin. I just hate Genshin. Okay. Don't be um, so. I was, I was yeah. um, I, all over Are again. You? I came up with the best yeah. idea. Yes. Oh, shit. Here we go. Again. And hopefully we get a good VR ending this time. Genshin. Like your avatar. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Get the oh man. man. So cool. You should add a seat okay. on your VR. You could be like, good endings. No, I haven't heard that in years. You can like pull out a rabbit. I haven't heard that. I should make this avatar. My friend. Whoever did this should have. I'm going to make this a word here in my hand. My friend. The story. Without further ado, begin. Magician. Between the forest and the countryside, there sits a lone house, and in this lone house is a young girl. Every evening, she looks out her bedroom window, and her imagination soars. She wonders about the far away, exotic places her father always tells her about. She closes her eyes, and she can see them. Beautiful cities, filled with waterfalls and white birds. Majestic mountains, capped by clouds, so soft one could fall asleep on them. She wonders, and she wonders, until the sun sets, and the crickets fill the air. In her mind, she pictures something else. She pictures her father finally coming home. 
She hopes for it with all her heart. It's going to be tonight. She knows it is. Her heart flutters as she opens her eyes expectantly. The sky is purple, and the path outside is empty. She was wrong. He hasn't come home. She shoves the curtains across and turns from the window. Dear travelers, let's go inside and see if she's all right. This way. Oh, I accidentally closed please. the archive. Oh, yeah. How'd you do that? I, I just messaged myself. Oh. <laughs> oh, wait, how do you... Oh. Yeah, something against my people. Squeeze. Oh, yes, my favorite spot. No, not like a bat, like a. No, you're. Mm. I'm always it's in the like spot. Hey, I was there. Someone threw the Optimus Prime action figure away. Oh, that's okay. Okay. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Is Geo here? I saw. Uh, yes. He is. I can't right. see him for some reason. My friends. <laughs> The story continues. Are you pointing at me? Yes, it is. The young girl trudges through the dark house. The kitchen is empty. Her mother has forgotten to cook again. The girl grabs an apple from the table, pulls up a chair, and eats alone. She closes her eyes again, wanting to go to another place. The image slowly forms in her mind. Wisp of mist rushing by. The gentle rush of cold air in her ears. The deep thrum of, as she passes through clouds. The land far below her. Everything cast in a radiant golden light. Then the sky knocks. No, not the sky. She opens her eyes. Could it be? The chair clatters to the ground as she runs toward the front door. She can't contain her excitement. There he is. He is finally home. She lets out a cry of joy and a bit of sadness. Her father picks her up, holds her tightly. Is Mama still sleeping by the radar? Papa's voice is deep and comforting like the clouds she flew through. Only when you're gone so long. The mother's voice drifts in, warming the room. She joins them in a tight embrace. I'll always come back, he says. He takes out a bottle of capsules from his jacket and hands it to the mother. He apologizes for only being able to get enough for ten months. He seems really sad about it. Don't worry, the mother says. I'll manage. I always have. As And soon, the house is filled with the warm glow from the fire. The sounds of laughter, the smell of a roast, and the little girl could not possibly be more happy. After dinner, the girl asks her father for another story about the pilot. He looks at her as a smile slowly spreads across his face. My friends, let's all go together and listen to father's story. This way. By the way, Geo, yes, I was pointing at you because equalization can't see you at all. Mute and unmute somebody. Man, Geo, it's all. Over here. <laughs> Eclipse over here.
the hell? Did I put a timer on? <clears throat> Sounds like it. There we go. Uh, I don't have any pictures of you. <clears throat> Give me a good pose. My friends, the young girl jumps into bed, and the father and mother sit as either side of her. The father tells another story about his daughter's favorite hero, the pilot. Each time the father would revisit the story, the pilot would be on a new adventure. But each time, a few themes remain the same. The pilot flies to new worlds with his legendary ship, and wherever he goes, he meets new friends who need his help. The odds would always be stacked against him. But thanks to his trusty legendary ship, he always saves the day. Have this. Please. The girl asks if the pilot is a he or a she. And the father says he doesn't know. The girl remains awake till the very end. And then the father asks, as he does at the end of every story. So why do you think the pilot helps people? The young girl squeezes her bunny doll in cheers. Because it's the good thing to do. The mother and the father look at one another, smile, and then laugh. The daughter doesn't know what happened, but she laughs with them anyway. As her parents leave the room, <laughs> the girl asks if, when she grows up, she can fly to other worlds to help people like the pilot. Of course, the father says, you'll be the greatest pilot, and someday you will will save the day, too. The mother looks out the window. So cute. They tuck her in. The father turns off the light, and they leave the door ajar for the daughter. Travelers. My friends. Let's go back downstairs and let her sleep this way. Seeds are taken except for this one. Actually, I know he is better. Boop. Yes, it's my birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. The mother <laughs> and father sit together in the living room. She asks him if he did what he set out to do and if he was tracked. He says the same thing he always says. Of course not. He was careful. He starts talking about being able to get away with unregistered flights and is about to go into the tendency for military officers to turn a blind eye to a certain amount of excess cargo when she stops him with a finger on the lips. She reminds him that she knows all of this already. He laughs and gets in one more detail. She will always know 
when anything is approaching thanks to the military radar he stole. If a vessel gets near, it will notify her. She nods. She knows this. But they both decide that it, it's a topic for another time. Her husband is home. She missed him dearly. And so, they go to bed. You're missing polygons. Inside the shirt. The mother mm. is woken suddenly. It's the father. He's talking about something on the radar, headed for the refugee camp. She rubs her eyes, confused. I have to go, says the father. I have to get them out. She doesn't understand. She pleads for him not to leave again, still not sure what exactly is happening. She suggests that is it just a scout or an error? No, says the father, and his voice frightens her. Look at the radar. The mother looks, and her heart drops. The signal is enormous, the largest she's ever seen for a ship, and it is headed directly for the rebel camp, off the radar's edge. That's, she begins, but her voice falters. Yes, says the father. The dark monument airship. Last time it was deployed, it laid waste to everything from Eternic to the Equavi Islands. The death toll was in the millions. Fire fell from the sky for weeks after, and to this day, nothing grows there. Ah, hidden forest camps, underground bases, networks under towns, it doesn't matter. Nobody is safe from this airship. Sending it there could only mean... He doesn't finish. He doesn't need to. I'll join you, the mother says. I was an engineer in the military. I can help. You were... Until they discharged you for your condition. He takes hold of her shoulders and looks her in the eyes. The moonlight from outside dims and the room goes dark. I need you to stay here. Protect our daughter. The gray soldiers will easily detect her potential. They'll take her away from us. We can't let our daughter become another weapon for them. The mother feels as though she is in a nightmare. Can't you contact the Ethos Coalition for help? The Coalition's resistance ships won't make it in time, and I can outrun that abomination. I smuggled them into the camp in the first place, so it's up to me to get them out of there. I'm their only hope. His hands slide down her arms as he takes hold of her fingers. She's trembling. Listen, I was the same as them, a refugee on the run, remember? And then you rescued me. I have to return the favor. It's... It, it's the good thing to do. Reluctantly, she nods. He kisses her and rushes out into the night with his things. The house is cold and dark once more. And the mother and daughter are left alone.
travelers. A year has passed. The father has not returned, and the daughter has just turned six. The mother lost contact with the Ethos Coalition months ago. However, every night she waits. Every night she turns on the radar, sits in the chair, and stares at the night sky. Tonight, her daughter is with her, and together they watch, wondering if the moon is going to reappear. The silence is broken by the daughter. Mama, are you going to listen to the radio all night again? The mother doesn't answer. Daddy said it's bad for your heart to stay up. The mother looks down at the daughter, smiles, turns off the radar. She holds her for a while and puts her to bed. She promises that she will sleep on time and closes the door. The mother goes back to the radar and turns it on. She listens with her head in her arms. She listens until sleep takes her. A loud voice screeches. Attention! Attention! This area is under martial law by order of the Grey City. Surrender all ether users immediately or face execution. She changes through the channels, but it's everywhere. She presses her hands against her ears, but the voice fills her mind. Then she looks at the radar, and she sees it. It's already over the forest. The cursed airship is here. But why? No, she doesn't have time to think. They have to escape. The mother rushes upstairs, wakes her daughter, and dresses her. The daughter only has time to grab her bunny doll before the banging sound echoes from the ground floor. The sounds of splintering wood terrifies them both. They run toward the outside balcony. Quickly, my friends, follow me. We gotta move. Okay, poke your eyes run, out, Gio. Shane, Run, Shane, <laughs> run. Run, get the fuck out of here. Run, Shane. Run. Jump. Yep, nope. I think we're gonna die. We'll see. Fine, <laughs> no. fine wishes. You're overreacting. Yeah, I got healed at least. Gets me when a higher view. I mean, I'll I'll the story to help us now. <laughs> well, that house is on fire. I didn't do it. Who are they? I think Kermit. Christ, the little girl. Blame Mama, you. I'm scared. The mother holds her daughter tight and jumps from the balcony. She hits the ground hard, landing on her side. A sharp pain shoots through her now broken rib. But her daughter is safe, and that's all that matters. She stands and looks around. The forest is on fire. They must have detected her. She looks around and sees areas where the fire hasn't spread. It's the only way. My friends, this way. <laughs> yes, into the fire. <laughs> Through the fire and the flames. <laughs> I was like waiting home. for the fire fight. It's fine. <laughs> I'm honestly surprised it took us that long to make that reference. She struggles to run. Her daughter is heavy. She glances over her shoulder. Dark figures are circling the house, peering through the clouds of smoke. Then the mother looks up.
and she sees it. A horrifying shape eclipses the moon. Its silhouette drops a blanket of slow-moving shadow, smothering the land below in darkness. It's creeping slowly, unstoppably, toward them. She places her daughter on her feet and kneels to look her in the eyes. Mama is going to run, and you must run too. She barely manages to get her words out. You must not let go of my hand. Do you understand? Do not let go. Is that a monster? The little girl stammers with eyes welling up. No, don't look at it. The mother cries. Take my hand and don't let go. One of the soldiers yells in the distance. The mother grips her hand tight and they run. Her heart is racing, and the fire is unbearably hot. The smoke scrapes in her throat. My friends, the mother and daughter have been spotted and are now being pursued by the Dark Monument airship. Together, they must find a way through the burning forest, and so must all of you, as this is your first quest. Make your way through the burning forest and find the exit. Click the yellow save point and run as fast as you can. Good luck. Everyone. I blame Kermit for the fire. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> oh, you so much fire, Kermit. What have you done? Oh, fuck. Go bad now. Yeah. What should I do about it? There you go, I guess. Gio, you have a moment. What? Well, I'm just letting you uh know. -oh. No, I Even that. though you feel like you're whispering when narration is... Mm. Mm. I mean, I can't go into the yep. light. I'm, I'm just swallowing the center. I can't get through. 
You want to go mm. to the yellow orbs right here. Those are your guiding mm. waypoints. Mm. And what? that's how you're I able see. to get through. Ah, yeah. I see. Oh, I should, uh, I should. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll okay. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Uh, Don't get hit by the uh, yellow cones. Okay, yeah. They move slowly so you can get through. It's different, it's local for everyone. Did he die again? Oh, I died. Oh dear. Went away, and then a little opening right here. If I know what's gonna happen, everyone's gonna get catapulted into the fucking room. Uh, oh, you're right. <laughs> We're gonna have to go through the thing again. What is, what is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I, I won't do it. This one is kicking me. Better be fun. Also, Luke, you can go into your settings. Um. I said you're on camera. I don't know what the riddle this time. Oh, I thought we had to play a hip. Go into your settings. Uh, your mod, and then go into pure evil. I don't know. I don't know. It's a shiny book. Come on, where's my flame thrower? No, there's a drop down. There's a drop down. You're gonna, you're gonna like stretch. Oh, where? That's an interesting word. Where's the hip pets? No. <laughs> oh, no. It's a uh, animation, animation mode in FPT. There should be a drop down. It's a second option. Is this under my settings? Yeah, under settings. Right? I don't see what you're talking about. How about the travel the trail? Oh, mod settings. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Good thing it's not <laughs> nest storm. So like, I'm stuck. No. Did you use fast travel? Wait, am I no. Am I doing the city? No. No. Yeah. My friends, yeah. I'll have you know that there are many newcomers tonight, and the newcomers that are still making their way through Fire Forest are having a blast, according to the other tour guides. <laughs> So oh, please, no. when they arrive, give them a grand, warm welcome. Invisible walls. I mean, you can't get much warmer than that. Semi-transparent cones. And <laughs> <laughs> the What's that from? I think that's the right idea. I welcome the sweet embrace of death. It's more like I'm feeding Zin good ether energy, even if it's more power from Primus. Right, so I Shin can glow brighter now that he has yeah, the power of Primus there. within him. Just stay there, don't move. No. Brendizo is good at that. My friend. There it is. Leg has entered the lobby. Feet picks now. Attention, please. I didn't find it. Oh well. Hmm? Oh god. terrifying. Bum, bum, bum. My friend. This is me when I press the A. Did you know? That our tours are like a class. 
and that if you have already high-fived, snuggled, complimented, or otherwise initiated positive ether to another traveler besides yourself, you are already an overachiever in the class. Have you done this already? Mm -hmm. I sure do hope so. Mayhaps. Well, if you haven't, this now's the friend. time. <laughs> you're gonna love yourself, you're gonna love and you're gonna like back, it. Back, everyone. <laughs> I'm not Jake sure anyone wants to hug me, and I probably you squish you a bit too much. No, I can't you. I do try. The hair is crazy. The hair is crazy. You looking... Oh, sorry, Legit Jake. You be looking... I try to be... Spooked me! More talk. Smart sessions coming in. Your attention, please. The story can tell. The story continues. Are you in real life? Or are you in <laughs> All of you have fulfilled this obligation, and I thank you for it. Ten thousand thank yous for you to fulfill this obligation. Now the story continues, my friends. The positive ether is flowing this way. The mother and daughter have made it. Somehow. Something tells me to pull my, uh, Stop my extra and zero percent now. Haha, <laughs> got him. Any sleepers? Uh, I'm Jin's lighting the fire. Hello, welcome. Any sleeper? Welcome. Hey, awesome. Awesome. Hey, I have a guy to do that. I went to. I am the dog of the water. Hello, welcome to water. Can I get you anything? Hello. Do you need yes, you can get me something. Oh, <laughs> what would you like from water? A peachy. I would be. I would like. Omelette du fromage, please. Omelette du fromage. Omelette du fromage. My friends, the story continues. What's wrong? Let's go. It would be a shame. It would be a shame if the mother standing play right now. And daughter stagger into a secluded clearing. Nearby is a tent. An old campfire and a pond. Raindrops pat against the canvas. And the leaves of the trees. And the water's surface. It's loud. The ground squelches beneath every footstep. The rain is cold. But the chill soothes the mother's burns. They won't have to worry about the fire spreading this far. Inside the tent, the mother speaks words of comfort to her wailing child, cradling her in her arms. The traumatized girl grips her bunny doll and buries her face into her mother. The rain masks her tears as she soon sleeps. The mother, however, does not, and keeps watch all through the stormy night. When the last of the daughter's sniffles subside, she begins to dream of a faraway place, a dark place. She descends into a nightmare. My friends, please use the blue save point. Nightmare time. Are you alive? Yay, oh, nightmare. Come here. Let's go, Joe. Yeah, go to bed. Joe Where are we? Me for a second there. Oh, 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 o
Zip it up light on it. Oh, it's strange. Oh, man. If it's an option, I, I can turn on that. In here. I don't know why I could see Geo doing that. My friends, your attention, please. Geo should have a light. Tonight's NPCs, please come forward. Stand next to me and change into your searchlight avatar in front of the group. I'm actually don't know why I have this menu up. NPCs, please turn on your searchlights and show them to the group. Oh, I see. Interesting. Can everyone see Silent Sonic and Leon standing next to me? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Good. My friends, Hi. if you cannot see them, go to your avatar settings and turn I on so. permissions by hitting escape and clicking on them. This is necessary for the so following so quest. All right. I assume everyone has enabled their avatars. NPCs, take your place in the nightmare. Ooh. Oh, jeez. My friends, a figure is suddenly aware of the surroundings. What the fuck is that? The walls now? are cold and slick. The floor is a solid void, and the air shimmers with a shadowy haze. Where am I? Who am I? The unknown figure looks about, barely able to see anything. What am I doing here? I was <laughs> searching for something. Perhaps? There are voices audible in the distance, echoing and distorted. It doesn't sound human. And it's drawing closer. The figure realizes they can't stay here. They have to move. Whatever those voices are coming from, it feels malicious. The figure in the nightmare must find what they are searching for. And so must all of you. As this is your next quest, listen carefully, travelers. Search for a way through the darkness to the exit. And avoid the monsters at all costs. Getting caught in their cone of light will fracture the little girl's hope. If you are caught, everyone will hear thunder crash. Keep moving and do not stop. Through the darkness she dreams of you. Your quest begins now. Go, travelers. Let's go. Let's go. Careful. Don't worry. Don't worry. I got, I got the whole team on my back. I got the city on my back. Alright, here we go. Uh oh. I don't know where they're going. Oh! They're the. Ah, I see. Now I got it. Oh, it's off. The heckin' light is oh, no, tripping me out. Where, where are you? I can't hear you. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, it's just like little balls. Oh, wait, that is my... Oh, this is a circle. Go, 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 go. Oh, it's right here. Oh, no, here we go. Oh. <laughs> Did we click? Did we... Yeah, you can if you want. 
I was the first one to I was very close. I, I almost got caught twice. It's pretty helpful just running into water. I got a lot of them are fake. Yeah. One person okay, is fake. They have never dodged the cameras. Leg has entered the lobby. Feet picks now. Yeah. I think so. They just make themselves growl. I'm on the way. I'm supposed to avoid the camera. I thought I died. Yeah, we were. The scene crashed. Oh, I just kept running. Fourth morph is too annoying. Wait, Sheen crashed? No, uh, Uber. No! No! Oh. Who crashed? Hey, Kermit. Okay, my friend. Oh, oh dear. He should be able to join back up with us. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, hey, yeah, 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 I mean, 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 I love you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When Luna died, we need to do CPR. 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 I think I actually got caught back in the middle. She needs mouth to per mouth precipitate. Precipitation. No, I'm not going to do that. She needs mouth to mouth. Never mind, she's awake. Is that the new forest fire? Yep. I, I think it was I heard, it was heard that <laughs> if you go in it you have no thunder, you unlock <laughs> 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 My friends My friends, the story continues. Please gather around. Did you know that Redacted really likes this voice? My friends, the story continues. Guys, guys, damn. The girl wakes herself up, screaming in the dark of night, her eyes filled with tears as she frantically calls for her mother. Quickly, she comes to comfort her terrified child. The daughter begins describing a dark place with monsters, but she struggles to speak through her trembling. The mother rocks her in her arms, telling her it was just a nightmare, not to worry. The daughter tries to go on about how the person in her nightmare was searching for something. But her voice is shaking too much. The mother interrupts, telling her it was not real. She's safe now, and they both need to get ready for the day's travel. Together, they sit rocking for a while as the rain dies down, revealing a morning sun shining like a golden orb between parting storm clouds. The mother thinks to herself that the town of Shade has always been a place rebel supplies move through. She should be able to find something on the location of the Ethos Coalition. The mother checks the sky clear for now travelers this way I guess we can move <laughs> next site ow, ow. <laughs>
<laughs> have you packed a lunch? <laughs> I have lunchables. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, see. That's the only good snack we have after everyone bought the There's one packed me a high C. I'm out of breath, just breathing. I know. Okay. Hyperventilating, and you're actually Test. just like, oh my god, dude. <laughs> it is that time. You're not wrong. Yo, what the, the dog doing? What the dog right there? What's up, Who can what say? Is that a fucking dog, boy. What the hell? I've heard that line before. <laughs> my friends. Travelers, the story continues. Ooh. Damn. Damn. The town of Shade okay. is a small, busy, unfriendly place. The people here don't smile or greet each other as they pass. The mother and daughter feel unwelcome in such a place. The mother doesn't know who to trust or who is loyal to the Grey City. First, she needs to find a safe place for them to get some proper rest. The mother books a room, which the innkeeper says will be ready a little later. The mother looks up and checks the sky, then tells her daughter that they should gather supplies while they wait, as they likely pay to go tomorrow. My friends, this is your next quest. Listen carefully. Listen oh so very carefully. All of you mm -hmm. must explore the town of Shade. Scattered around are various supplies and <clears throat> clues the mother and daughter need. If you find an interesting looking item, please click it. It will appear in your tab, in your tab key inventory, once you do. My friends, you have five minutes to search. Please return here in front of the inn door before the time is up. My friends, please do not be late. The sky is clear for now. You got it? Good luck. What's that's rough one? I don't know. Item, 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 item. What is item? What did you say? Okay. So just go around, click on items, and just do as many like A medicine kit. They don't want to fucking know. Uh... There. <laughs> I'm gonna burn you! Uh oh, I'm stuck.
of it. Mine can be 3D too, that's that's new. <laughs> okay, I have more swords to do. Onwards. Information. One, one, Wait, one, how much time do we have? My leg. Yes, I do. Uh, no, uh, we have more time? Asking, what is oh, the my shoulder has that? Oh, 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 it is in the guild. Um, the guild. Oh, this is over here. Look, I have like a shit ton of stuff on me right now. You're good. I got like. Wait, wait, wait. the shoulder space. Oh, shit. First time. I'm going to go down like a baby. And it was not a 2D. Actually, doing this in real life is fun. Wait, you've ever done it? Is that three dimensional? I fear I can't tell to ever get the minstrels made. Usually, I got like 12 things. Coalition info 3. Yeah, that's that's the most important. Hey yo. Oh. He's got a point. This time we're not gonna see much. Awesome. Also, I don't have to wait for us. What happens if we just went around robbing it? We're gonna go into that room. We're gonna give us like a couple of minutes to like sit. Like that's like any other game. Shut up. We're gonna pick three items. Holy shit! I have like two pages. 
I think we have two <laughs> items that we're gonna take. Nope. I have a lot. third item, we don't know where it is. I, I gotta learn first aid stuff. I really wanna take the back. Cause it's... It's like... It's like... It's like... It's like... I'm team dream egg all the way. Like, uh, <laughs> Can we make a woo baby <laughs> body one? No, I don't wait for them. You have... I did the holy shit. When you find the dream, it looks so fast. It looks so So I think are really weird. Like, I'll see this one for the memorized. What is power crisis? <laughs> if, no if the whole group wants something, go with the group. Yeah, <laughs> or else. Mondos and Capri Suns. Please. Oh. Power, could you please stop what? that? One of you wants me to drink you. The story continues. This is a wholesome tour, nothing to worry about. Very wholesome, very wholesome. Oh hell yeah. You say that now. I say that now. And for us. <laughs> <laughs> you see that as we rob like ten stores. Yeah. <laughs> My friends. Hopefully, you all found what they need. The innkeeper tells the mother the room is ready. She takes her daughter by the hand and goes inside. My friends, this way. So are we stealing from here too? Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Doesn't this look like a tiny, like a little tiny room box on your wall? A little privacy, please. Yeah, using that a little, a little boom box. That we should I'm pretty sure. Okay, what are you thinking? <laughs> He's doing it in the camera. Obviously, the best <laughs> words. See, no, exactly. Not, obviously. <laughs> It'll because, catch on. Um, Where is your mighty shield? That's the third item of the set, and we don't know what it is. Hammer's last word. We need a shield. We got uh, for sure. So, okay. my friends. Ah, uh, ah, uh, remember your curse. As the story continues. No curse. Yo, what up? Yeah, I'll, I'll direct it to you, Lucian. Stay here behind the bed. I'll do the talking. Gosh. The two <laughs> make their way up to the prepared bedroom and begin settling in. It's quiet inside the inn. Clouds have gathered outside once again, casting a small space and a dull gray light. Finally, they can rest. The daughter is helping her mother sort the items they gathered today. She wants to help by carrying a few of them in her own little bag, but is unsure which items to choose. My friends, listen carefully. Press the tab key to view your inventory. If you're in VR, hold your right hand above eye level and press your menu or jump button to see your inventory. My friends, listen carefully. You have five to discuss and decide as a group which three items the daughter will carry for her mother. Your time begins now. All right. Everyone, All right. Everyone, everyone listen to the talking rap. He has ideas. So listen to that thing. Everyone listen to that thing right there. First, you. it's very important to know that these are the things that the daughter is carrying. The mother is carrying all sorts of other things that she picks up. This is specifically for the daughter, for the heart medicine and stuff like that. The mother already has it, theoretically. Um, as for the daughter, 
I think we should bring an item called Hammer's Last Words with us. I believe as I found that. Items, I don't have that. As for the other mm. items, I'm not entirely sure. Right. I think if I may I give a suggestion. I still have for dreaming. Yeah, 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 yeah. And we're going actually, we're going there's right. an it's item called Power Crisis. Oh, yes, I, think we I have that one. I agree with Power Crisis. Oh, nice. Power oh, Crisis is supposed to be a weapon and a shield. So Power Crisis should be one of our items, I think. We could try both so eggs okay. if so you really want. So it's gonna be Hammer's Words, mm -hmm. Power What's Crisis, Hammer's Words. That's what I'm wondering. I think it's a good combo. Right. I, I actually did find Power Crisis. I don't know what it is. Nice. I didn't just so find it. I literally found two pumpkins. Yeah. 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 I, I, I would listen to one of the stories. Yeah, what about it's 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 egg. Hammer's so, 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 so we're all in agreement, I guess. Hammer's last words, dream egg, and then Power Crisis. Hammer's last words, dream egg. Dream egg, I'm down with that, yeah. yeah sure. Just saying, yep. well, I am Dream Egg. I'm unsure why we're taking yeah. Hammer's last word, but I'll take it. It's, it's a bomb. It's a time bomb. bomb. No, Power Crisis. I heard someone say Power Crisis. Power Crisis. That's what you said. Power Crisis is the weapon and the shield. The bomb. Which Hammer's, hammer's last word? It's a bomb. But it has the appearance of a bomb. We already know what it is. Yeah. Okay. So we'll find out. Dream Egg, I only have Dream Egg. I just have Dream Egg. Oh, for what? Oh, for what? Oh, for what? Oh, for what? Yeah, it's a collective inventory, so as long as someone else has it, then you could say we could pick it. No, I'm not going to be bringing three items, right? This is my first time. Yes, Dream Egg, Hammer's Last Words, Dream Egg, Hammer's Last Words, Hammer's Last Words, say Hammer's Last Words, Dream Egg, or Power Crisis. How'd the Hammer have Last Words? He can't talk. I just had Dream Egg. I know, right? Hold on. You can say any of them. I don't know. Power Crisis, Dream Egg, I'll share my Hammer's Last Words. Hammer's Last Words. If you're cool, say Hammer's Last Words. So it's important to know what other people are Dream Egg, Hammer's Crisis. He's typing it all up. Power crisis, hammer dust words, and dream egg. Oh, hammer's last Someone died over here! Hey, Taylor, you alright? Hey, right? hey, right? Oh, Optimus. Uh, me? It's the man with the Matrix right? leadership over there. What? What did you- <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's so obvious! Optimus, what are you doing, doing, doing here, here Simpe? Is that correct? Or are we bringing that along? What? What? I'm leading what? Is that not a thing? I'm seeing you at the power of Primus. I thought that's what somebody said. Are you saying that? Are you saying that? Are you saying that? I thought that's what somebody said. I'm is that your actual rank? rank? Uh, Hello. Uh, One minute Power remaining. Oh, my God. I got a crack. Oh, oh. Uh, nice. <laughs> no. If, if we get to the daughter, we get a lot of my rank. I I know. That's why I said it. <laughs> <laughs> That's why it's a bad thing. Yeah. Jeff's actually home now. I don't have any last words. Okay. I don't know, Meg. I have no idea what's happening. If you need to remember, it's okay. Like, has entered the lobby. Feet picks now. Dreaming, I can remember. Dreaming, I can remember. Dreaming, I can remember. Hammer's last words, I might not be. Oh my god. 
Oh my god, the particles are actually alive. Nice. Well, well, to to oh, I think we're taking finger guns a little bit. Go in the bathroom. Go in the tub, or they're going Seems fine. Okay. The healing sounds good, but we got one shot. It doesn't matter. It's just like, hey! Are the whole specific world? That's the point of what the point of That's the point of That's the point of <laughs> My friends, your attention, please. Your time has expired. Apologies for interrupting, but your time has expired. A tricky cat. Please, you alone, tell me one of the items that the group has decided the daughter will carry for her mother. Hammer's last words. Hammer's last words. I see. He goes to Mando for them one bit. Zephyrin, I see you back there. Zephyrin, tell me, what is one of the items the daughter will carry for her mother? Uh, I crashed and I just came back, so I don't know. <laughs> Zephyrin, I don't know. <laughs> Zephyrin, do not worry, do not fear. Zephyrin, ask one of your close friends what you should do. Yo, Luna. What? Luna, you know what to do. Um, <laughs> yeah, Luna. Is this thing with two swords and a shield, Sonic? What was it? Power crisis. Power crisis. The power crisis. Oh, jeez. Hmm. Oh, my God. If you want, you can must say help. that. Or... I don't need to take my goofle. Maybe you could... Sure, Zephyr, yeah, we'll your time that. runs thin. We'll go Tell with that. The power answer. crisis. I'm gonna get my meds. There we go. Power crisis? Power crisis. Power crisis is the next answer. Power crisis. <laughs> so so intrusive. Like, oh my god. Power crisis. <laughs> this was our power crisis. Roki. Roki. The Rogi? third item. What will the daughter take for her mother? What was the third item? A uh, dream. Dream. <laughs> 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 oh, no, dream. Dream. <laughs> dream. Dream. You say. Somebody say dream. dream. Yes. Dream. dream. I said dream. Egg. egg. I see. <laughs> Thank you. Quit egging them on. Quit egging them on. The mother sits on the bed. Leaning against the window frame. She's tired of running, tired of hiding, but she cannot stop. Not yet. She looks to the window at the town. As the evening sinks behind gray clouds, painting the buildings with soft pink light. The daughter jumps upon the bed, cuddles up to her mother, 
and holds tightly over her bunny doll. Are we going to stay here? She asked. I want to go home. The mother brushes her daughter's hair to the side. Not for long. We're going somewhere else. Tomorrow. Somewhere safe. Is that where Daddy went? The daughter looks up at her mother, hopeful. I think so. You need to sleep. So you can walk with me there tomorrow. You need to sleep too. The little girl nudges her and places a hand over her mother's heart. She can feel it beating steadily. The feeling comforts her. Daddy said, I, I need to protect Mama. The mother breaks into a heartwarming smile. You already are, my angel. Daddy said, you're a good luck charm. As though you have friends watching over you. Friends watching over me and Bunny? She looks at the ceiling, but there's nobody there. The mother laughs. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the daughter squeezes her bunny doll and goes silent. She thinks deeply for a six-year-old. Mama, will my friends watch over your heart too? She puts, around, she puts an arm around her daughter and pulls her in. Her answer comes only as a whisper between them, a fragile breath. I hope so. I hope so. The daughter nods and snuggles up close. She falls asleep with them in minutes. The mother wipes tears from her own eyes and looks back out the window. Night has come. My friends, mother will keep watch while we all sleep. For what is good never lasts. Travelers use the blue save point to follow the daughter into the dreams once more. Oh, here we go again. Surprise, you just noticed that, and no, yeah, it's not. It's something different. Also, he said good luck charm, and that's an item. Oh, there it is. Kind of sucks. It's something related uh, to the oh, travelers, though. This part. Yeah. So, <laughs> I remember that. Yeah, it was like first time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, there he is. Oh, good. Good times. Good times. You know, I only realized everyone's reaction to my call when I saw the video on YouTube. My friend. Oh, 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 the story really cool. continues. Yeah, it is really cool. New Jersey. NPCs. Please come forward. This happened last time too, I think. <laughs> How much I love you now. Today. Every time you fall off the edge, <laughs> and everybody laughs. The wholesomeness of this world increases just a little bit. Not to say jump off the edge again and again, because that would just create I mean, an infinite I'll loop that edge. destroys us all. Good point. And also, it can only be funny so many times. There you go. You hit the nail on the head. My friends, listen carefully. NPCs 
stand next to me and NPCs change into your dream eater avatars. <clears throat> Moment. Don't like the sound of this. Yeah. Leon and Silent Sonic are now your dream. Just stay there. Just stay there. My friends, <laughs> NPCs, after you have changed into your dream eater avatars, go and take your place in the nightmare. Try not to fall. Yeah, don't yeah. fall. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just waiting for him to fall wait, off wait. again. I'm gonna be honest. My friend. I, I'm waiting for it. Listen carefully. <laughs> Once more, a figure becomes aware. The air is colder, but their vision feels somehow sharper. Perhaps this place is a little brighter than the last. The last place. Yeah. Yes. This isn't the first time this person has ended up in such a place. What am I looking for? What must I find? They look at... The... <laughs> the man... Yeah, right, standing... In the corner... He's malfunctioning! ...of the room. He's not supposed... Be here. How did he get down here? This isn't even the part of. N no. Yes. They have to keep searching. The person is suddenly aware of something behind them, glancing back over their shoulder. They see only swirling shadow, and they are filled with a sense of dread. My friends, something is approaching. Something is following. The figure stands tall, determined. They will conquer the void. Travelers, this is your next quest. Listen carefully. Find a way to the end. This time... There is no monster to avoid, but instead, a pair of dream eaters blocking your exit. Gather around the dream eaters and answer their question together as a group. Good luck and hurry. Leave the way, Lucian. Guys, wait a little bit. Wait a little right, bit. Friends, trying to do something, okay? Wait a little bit. Everyone, follow me. Everyone, wait, 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 wait. Follow the right. Wait, follow stop, the right, everyone. Stop. Everyone, wait a second. Okay. Hear the right, okay? Follow the right, okay? Follow the right. Just follow, follow me. me. Follow the right. Follow the right. <laughs> yep. Follow the infestation. Follow the I'm just kidding. Ooh, Lucian is the infestation. A tidal wave. Another, Another victim. Their heart will keep beating. Okay. Yep. Okay, people, and now you can go. All right. What? Thank you very oh. much. We appreciate. <clears throat> okay, so that's what I get for kidding. I just fall off the edge. If I gotta do perfect oh, behavior or something. All right. When they ask their question, don't immediately start shouting over each other trying to come up with an answer. Everyone yes, think everyone for a good 15 seconds silence. after they give their riddle, and think to yourself yeah. of a good answer. So true. Oh. 
the men <coughs> L the the L men. Do you mind to stop? Pip, 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 Thank pip, you. Pip. Okay. Let's try to take. Coffee's trying to tear. Oh man. My friends, the Dream Eaters, will speak. We know the entire world. Um, Are you on? But I've never seen it. <laughs> we have... We have cities. But no people. We have mountains. But no trees. We have water. But no fish. What am I? I have posted the riddle. Now think to yourself for a moment. My brain is not getting anything. I'm Probably need to fix my processors. Eh, not the best with riddles either. What about you, Alizu? Mm -hmm. add, add a couple more cores. You are a spy. Mm -hmm. I thought we were supposed to be thinking. No clue. We know the entire world, but we have never seen it. We have cities, but no people. We have mountains, but no trees. We have water, but no fish. What am I? Hmm. The only thing I'm thinking of is a dead planet. Who, whoever said globe, it, it sounds like that's a really yeah, good answer. Yeah, globes Actually, or globe hits is what I was Mars. thinking. Yeah. Go yeah. Globe, globe. globe hits all the marks. Holy cow! Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, a good globe. answer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not not no trees. Yeah, ma they, are globe. there actual trails and mountains well. on globes? Yeah, yeah, some do. I haven't looked at the yeah. globe in the longest time. Some some record the elevation of mountains. So. Map map mm. would be yes. a bad answer because not all maps have water. <laughs> Or mountains or something. The entire world is the globe. I've actually never seen a map of like a tree. Honestly. Yes. It's a globe. Like, globe. Yeah. I think it. I, I, I agree with globe. If There's mountains, but no trees. Globes don't have trees. They will demand it from yes. us. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Some globes have like bombs. Mm. And then we will yeah. all say the answer simultaneously. That's a count of three. Shall we repeat it one more time? Yeah. I don't think that's necessary. Mm. Right. <coughs> just, just wait. It's for almost out. Are we sure start, it's not a map? What is your answer? But the map isn't the whole world. Our answer is the globe. 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 Correct. Yes. 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 <laughs> the glow, the matrix is brighter. My darkest hour will definitely be lightened. We will take our leave now. Oh, I have to go. Oh, damn, I didn't notice. I can't find it. Goodbye. Have a good time. Don't die. And don't fall. Don't fall off the map again. It's alright. 
The one dream eater yeah. needs some water. Sonic, hey, Silent Sonic, hmm? where were you? We were just dealing with the dream I've eaters earlier. Oh, you know, I <laughs> fell Did again. you crash? Oh, fell was again. it the longer uh, fall this again. time? Hey. How hey. Have you been As the figure been passes, the strange manifestations. They feel a sadness in their words. Their questions swim in their mind. They indulate their very being. But the figure already knows the answer and puts it aside. The figure waits as their questions dig deeper and the figure feels sorry for them. Their words are like words, an echo, and the deepest part of the darkest Shit. ocean. Oh. Something that no being would ever have the right to know about. Like a tear shed by a mermaid. No one will ever know the secret. What? What? <gasps> mermaid what? tear right hand. Yeah. Yeah. Mermaid tear right, right hand. Right. We can interact with it. Oh. Interesting. Oh. Click it. Take it. The I unknown. So. Yes, we get everyone. Passes between strange nightmare manifestations and enters a new space. There isn't much of a visible shift, but something feels very different. There's a sense of vast openness, yet without the freshness of being outdoors. There comes the scent of dust and rust. They look ahead, peering into the shadows that feel distant, and a shape begins to take form. It is colossal. It hangs in an, an abyss, majestic and posing, as the person perceives more and more of it. Its wings cut through the darkness like great blades of night, and there it waits, motionless, expectant. My friends, please use the blue save point. Onward to victory! An invite request. Can I fall off of that? <laughs> nope. Alright. Had to check. They mentioned Had to another check. ocean. Can you fall off the abyss over here? Oh uh, no, it's invisible. Let's find out. Uh, uh, we're an ninja season. Uh, I, yeah. I invited her at the start. She requested yeah. it. The only problem was when I NPCs they just kept falling off. They mentioned an ocean off. again. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. As long as the other room was into the room, we were fine. Yeah. 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 Might need to tweak it. Begins the series of reasons why I have delayed tours. <laughs> and, they, and there's a bunch of mermaids. <laughs> Falling off because I'm the NPC of time number one. If we got the mermaids, we have an AI dream. Just turn off just just we would've got... I mean, <laughs> for your jump back. For the dream, we need to find the best half and get everyone to go at the same time. I'm thinking if we do Mother's Instinct and yeah, so. we don't get injured. Yeah, yeah, we should, we should do that. Yeah, like the well, he mentioned um, oh, the friend. Oh, oh, I, I think the only time that Mother's Instinct makes any difference is how it ends it earlier or not. When it comes to when the girl starts the story when we did mother's instincts when the girl had her episode the girl okay, okay. is jolted awake by a loud bang that shakes the room a vase topples from the table and smashes on the floor we have to go get dressed we have to go now the girl tries to explain to her mother about the nightmare, about how she knows what the person is searching for. The room shakes again, cracking the window this time. She stops mid-sentence when she looks through the broken glass. 
its image distorted, fragmented, hanging in this night sky. It's here. The monster is here. It's following us! The little girl shrieks before tumbling from the bed, pushing herself up against the back wall of the room. There are sounds of a firefight outside the town. The mother comes to grab her. It's going to be okay. Mama will protect you. We have to leave now. The world comes down around them. Everyone. This way. Oh no. Future. Uh, <laughs> oh, did she wait? <laughs> Just you wait. Oh, what the fuck is that? Oh, he put a cra- I think he um, crashed. Oh, there you go. Oh, there you go. oh he, he got a point. Oh, close, close one there. Close one. I think the cube is having some freak outs. Oh, God, I'm oh, terrible. You're just... Feel it. You feel it. Nature. Oh, oh, there you go. Oh, I've never seen it on fire before. Oh, no. Damn it, not again! Oh god, the future came true! I'm so... <laughs> I burned my pizza again. Kermit, why would you burn your pizza again? You could put the entire so village in fire! <laughs> Curse my magic! How dare I know the future and all of what's happened! <laughs> I just went around the circle! My family oh. reunions are That's the best. <laughs> no, okay. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh it's different. Hey, just spitball in here. Maybe Gundam? Maybe we could just leave. <laughs> Transformers versus Gundam. <laughs> the best crossover. <laughs> uh, maybe we can just. It's fine. You know, the electric is the heart. Which made me thought of Mother's Instinct. <laughs> Don't like, worry, maybe it's a hint, or I don't know. Yeah, I think we should just try it. I think, yeah. Okay. Black flame, get off okay, that thing. Will do. And if it goes Dangerous. down a bad route, it's comfy. we can just save us. <laughs> I don't think we, we can lose. This fight's really hard to lose, it seems. <laughs> it's comfy yeah. for me! It's comfy doesn't mean it's not dangerous. dangerous. Now get down! What's, uh... <laughs> no! <laughs> get out of the tank! You're not my dad! And I mean, even if we get a bit off the map and get to the chopper instead, no matter what. Oh my god. I want to go down the the uh, the dodge route because we actually have items, and I do not know how to I don't know how to do the mom side. my friends mm. your attention please gather around the story continues Hear you from here. With daughter in tow, the mother makes her way to the town exit opposite the firefight. In the street, the mother spots a motorcycle lying on its side, still running. She goes to lift it upright. Halt! A large soldier appears, armed with a gun blade. The town of Shade is now under martial law by order of the Grey. 
All civilians are to report for ether scanning. Come with me. The daughter holds her mother's hand tight. The mother states that they were already scanned and have no potential. She slowly backs away. I said halt, the soldier orders. He then presses a button on his visor. The mother sees this and pushes her daughter to run and hide behind a wooden crate. With a racing heart, the mother now stands defiantly between her daughter and the towering soldier. His eyes go wide as he reads his visor display. What's this? You haven't been scanned. You both are coming with me. With his eyes keeping contact with the mother, the soldier reaches for his comm device, preparing to notify command of his discovery. The mother has three options to choose from, attack, defend, or mother's instinct. You all have 30 seconds to decide. Attack. Everyone. Attack. Let's try mother's, mother's instinct everyone? every oh, time. Yeah, Are you serious? We want to. This is. The other side, the only reason we were able to get an attack was because we didn't. Let's. We at least okay. we did. never did every single three times. Every single I know there was an attack in there somewhere. We didn't choose every single time on the vision stage. We're trying to use all always did every single time. We tried to avoid it, but we never did it ever. Oh, for now, like right now, because like there's consequences, like, like depending on which side. Oh my god, what are you doing? We're doing mother's instinct every time. The mom can get hurt. Yes. Mother's instinct every time. I just want to try it. Mother's instinct. Attacking. I want to see what's going on. No, 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 no. Five seconds. Mother's instinct, everyone. Mother's instinct. Mother's instinct. Mother? Equalization. Mother? I yeah. hope that you're Mother? paying attention to understand the difference between what happens between choices. Equalization, what will the mother do? Mother's instinct. She walks toward him with her eyes on an incendiary <laughs> grenade clipped to his belt. He shouts for her to halt uh -oh. and raises his hand towards her. She grabs his arm as she grabs his arm and sh shoulder throw and shoulder throws him hard onto his back. Uh, okay, well, let's he hopefully. drops the comm device this... and reaches for the grenade. She's not fast enough as the soldier catches her by the wrist. With his other arm, he makes a tight fist and hooks her hard in the face, fracturing her jaw. No, women abuse! The mother was knocked to the oh, ground, but quickly gets up. I thought you were the... the soldier shoulders his gun blade, aiming at her midsection. Attack, defend, uh -oh. or mother's instinct. 30 seconds. Mother's, mother's instinct. instinct. Are we serious? <laughs> yes. We yes. Serious. I'm not Showing sure if my mother's instinct. We're testing. This happens this every time. It's gonna be a short tour. She, 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 she breaks her jaw every time. We get roughed up every time. We get roughed up every time. You already there. Oh, you already this far. Commit. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this story's about trial and error. This is the trial, and we're gonna see what the error is. Slowly start stripping the tooth. Yeah, the tooth is kinda hungry, though. But we'll see how soon the error appears. That's all the part of learning. Even though if, even though if it appears at least we got a different ending. We've been having the neutral ending for the last, like, since the, for long. So, any ending at this point is good. At least in my end.
Because the third time I've been yeah, on this tour. Yeah, it's almost like yeah, ten, it's maybe seven minutes. Is like the yeah. sixth run of it so far? Really? Okay. So yeah, six time a charm for you. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure. Um, hopefully no one knows uh, it. It's been somewhere <laughs> oh, at least four. Oh, cool. Surprise! Seven. Drop the prize! One. Drop your prize and get back here. Leon's dead. No, there's the Leon like on this tour or this uh yeah, okay, so oh, on bad. this encounter. Oh, and this oh, oh right here. Hey, where is Leon? This yeah, this, this tour is long. He's I saw it over there. Oh, oh, dead. <laughs> yeah, okay, old. so first time Sonic seconds. has trouble tripping over Four. things and now he's having <laughs> Maybe oh, thirty more minutes. Oh, oh, God. God. Oh, I can't oh, wait to go. What's gonna happen? Look at Leon he's a <laughs> <laughs> Give me a recap later. Ah, yeah, I got you. Give me a recap. I'm hungry. I want my. Oh, they're asking you. Oh, 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 oh shit! <laughs> Drop your fry. I do not know how to pronounce your name. Just say Lieutenant. This, this is Lieutenant. Lieutenant, <laughs> Lieutenant Dan. <laughs> Yeah, My friend, <laughs> Lieutenant, what will the mother do? Ah, <laughs> uh, you know, just ultra instinct, mother style. To dodge the shot, I'm gonna die. it misses. She's fast, but not fast enough to get close for a strike. He takes another shot hitting her deep in the upper leg, seeing her now slowed. The soldier moves in close. Thanks. Oh. <laughs> the soldier raises the gun blade to the right, preparing for a sideways strike. Attack, defend, or mother's instinct. You have 30 seconds. Instinct. <laughs> instinct. <laughs> mother's instinct. Mother's instinct. Always the instinct. Oh, no, oh, imagine dying. Oh, you oh, always oh, trust oh, the mother's oh, instinct. Oh, Isn't that right, PG? Oh, Die, Bob. Oh, mother's the same button for every Mother's instinct. Mother's instinct. Yep. I mean, I just love how mother's instinct. Mother uses mother's instinct. Mom's instinct. I'm surprised you can fly with one wing. Hey! Stop having fun up there! I thought the theme started like this. Like, you dodged it! Uh, no fun up there! Oh, she can't die here, and then she died. <laughs> I'm sorry! I'm sorry. <laughs> you little rat scallions, get off my lawn! I was like, oh. Did I see your lawn? I'm an Italian lawn! Yes, someone made the reference! Wait, what? <laughs> okay, who's going in the safe? I'm seeing people blinking in and out. I think people are just touching the safe point. Go get food and come back. I, I don't want to eat my What if, my, what if my, Sheen said you had three choices? Girl oh, boss, gay, keep. Don't worry, just get it's gonna work. My it's avatar work. menu is gonna fully broken. Unfortunate. I need to be at my. I repeat, Am I, um. Am I the Suichi avatar right now? No. Okay, because I cloned you. I actually, that's good copy. I'm not actually, I wanted to try it, but... Wait, so that means you just keep picking mother's yeah, instinct. Yeah, you're Now that I can drop off the face of my zoo. A little sip. Mother's instinct, drop the fries! Uh, you will never sleep for the next four months. My friend, yeah. your time has expired. <laughs> you know, Kermit. 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 Mother's fate mother is Kermit. in your hands. What will she do? Oh. A mother's instinct. 
Mother's instinct. <laughs> Hell yeah! Out of war. Toria! Mother instinct drops kicks mm. the soldier and then backs hand him, making him drop the weapon. <laughs> Mother. I'm gonna have to restart my game after this. I will choose for you if your time oh. expires. Mother's instinct? Wait, is he, my mic? He said it's yeah. he, he 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 my mic. Mother's instinct. She moves back toward the wall as he follows. She glares at him as he dashes to his side. I don't know. He swings blindly, only to find his blade stopped by the wall. Sparks fly, and she takes the opportunity to rush and grapple the gunblade handle, wrestling it free from the soldier. Before she can position herself to swing it, he hooks her hard in the stomach, and she drops the weapon. The angry soldier grabs her left arm and twists it into a lock. She manages to unclip an incendiary grenade from his belt. But then he brings his elbow down hard, breaking her arm at the wrist. Again. Oh no. The soldier I, looks at the grenade you know? in her hand, a flash of fear in his it's eyes. Attack, defend, mother, the mother sick. uses this distraction to knee him oh. hard in the gut before moving away. The daughter, the daughter witnesses all of this and screams for her mother. Now positioned between them, the soldier grabs the daughter and demands the mother to drop the grenade or she dies. The daughter shouts, Leave us alone! Just as a red aura erupts around her. My friends, oh. attack, defend, or mother's instinct. 30 seconds. Mother's instinct! Mother's instinct! It was red on the first one. It was red on the first one. Don't you choose anything else? Mother's instinct. Mother's instinct. Mother's instinct. Mother's instinct. Fine. Yes, Mother, I crave my uh, what color was it? doing a scientific <laughs> experiment. It's red. It's red. Which I think we found the expensive first innocent lives. Well, we gotta do something, otherwise we'll never progress. We'll never figure out a better ending. We gotta try things. Even if they might not end well on our actual thing, but we won't know what does what until we try it. I don't think it matters. Five Cause seconds. Because he was the one who put burn the entire the city oh, down. Okay. Oh, Listen, I was cooking a pizza. Why not? We're just letting the mother take the wheel. Why would you fall asleep making pizza? I don't know. Melatonin. I don't know. Whoa. Shit's strong. <laughs> Sir Daco. Oh, wait. Oh. What will the mother do? Oh. There's only anything. one answer. Mother's instinct, you say. She meets her daughter's <laughs> eyes and shouts, so Save us! The girl <laughs> drops her bunny doll and closes her eyes. The aura explodes into a torrent of red flames. The soldier tries to block, but the pure ether rips into him, sending him flying through a wall. Severely injured, but still alive. The soldier gets up. Immediately, he runs to his mech, climbing up into the open cockpit. Just before the door closes, the mother throws the incendiary grenade inside. Oh, I think we need to get down from here. <laughs> That's exactly why I want you guys drop off. Zephyr, <laughs> drop the fries! Zephyr, <laughs> drop the fries! Drop the ground shakes but not because of the grenade going off oh, I could finally stop a flying. shadow sweeps across everything <laughs> the dark monument now hovers over the town gates dropping bolts of blazing fire in every direction the mother grunts in pain as she lifts the motorcycle from before back into an upright position there are a few bullet holes in the frame but it's still running she calls to her daughter to get on but the girl stands unmoving, staring at the monster in the sky. Quickly, 
She pulls her daughter up onto the seat with her. She still has one strong arm and leg. The adrenaline masks the pain for now. We're going to be okay, she tells her daughter. I promise. We have to, she thinks to herself. Together, they speed away from the inferno that was shade. My friends, this way. Drop the fries! Drop the- Saffron, drop the fries! It's time to go! Kermit, I hope you don't burn this place down either. <laughs> Is the ship coming in shooting at us? Yes. It's the thing that's happening. I know what we're hearing is motorcycle sounds, but it sounds like a cat purring. It does. Hover over the thing, it actually says mm. something. Oh. You liking the story? Okay, yeah. No. Yeah, I'm off the map three times. Oh, oh, shit, what the fuck? Go! Oh, let me know what I missed. Muffin by it! Muffin by it! friends. They ride for hours. The trail is empty. The sound of the wind and the rumble of the engine slowly fade out in the mother's mind. All she can hear are her own thoughts alongside the painful thumps in her chest. The daughter holds on silently, eyes staring vacantly into the darkening sky. Angel, I'm so sorry. We are almost there. We will be at a safe place soon, the mother says. The daughter does not respond. My friends, this way. Caution! The sky. The sky is dark. The outpost looms ahead, various points of light moving about. The mother left the motorcycle on the road. It ran out of fuel a while ago. She leads her daughter by the hand, struggling to breathe as they walk. Finally, they're somewhere safe. Finally, they can take a rest, and she can heal her. Wait. Something isn't right. This is meant to be a waypoint for smugglers. Why are there soldiers everywhere? Gray soldiers! The mother breaks down. She lets go of her daughter's hand and drops to her knees. This is hopeless. They can't escape. What is she even doing? The information from Shade wasn't correct. And it hurts. Everything hurts. The pain is almost unbearable. Mama? The daughter's voice is tiny and feeble. Mama, are you okay? The mother looks at her daughter. You should sleep, Mama. I'll sleep too. And we can go to the dream world together. She takes hold of her mother's hand. I thought there were monsters there, but I know who it actually is. It's safe there. It's more safe than here, Mama. Let's go to sleep and forget this place. The mother listens to her daughter's words and begins to cry. She can't die here, and this poor child is already succumbing to the trauma. 
her angel is losing herself. No. She has to be stronger. She has to make her own hope. The mother stands up, takes her daughter's hand. There has to be a way through here. My friends, this way. Oh. oh no. Oh, he's over there. I'll say. You get a blue one. Wait. No, there's a small one. There is. Yeah, Luna's right here. Oh, oh a small one. one. Yeah. My friends. They sneak through the building carefully, avoiding the patrols. They stop and remain silent as two soldiers approach one another. They stop to talk, and the mother listens carefully. Hey, I'm sure you heard, but shade's been wiped from the map. Nothing left but ashes. It doesn't feel real, one soldier says with a worried tone. I'm not surprised. The Dark Monument is in the region, and Shade was a known supply point for the Ethos. But what if it comes here? They say it just destroys everything that's not a part of its unit. Unlikely. The machine they excavated is here. It's scheduled for transport to District Zero. They would not destroy something this important. You mean... that creepy mech no one is allowed to go near? Yeah. Rumor has it there is an ether amplifier on board. The scanners can't make sense of it. That's impossible. I thought you could only fit one of those on big warships. Don't you need to grow them or something crazy like that? Well, whatever it is, I heard they can't get the mech to work. It fries any equipment we attach to it. Want to go see it before it ships out? Nobody is watching it now. No way. That thing gives me the creeps. The soldiers part ways to continue their patrols. <laughs> the mother concludes that the mech they spoke of is their only chance to leave this region. She looks at her daughter. The girl has been silent staring vacantly at the wall since they have arrived. She wants to check if she's all right, but they need to move. My friends, this way. Huh. <sighs> Why does that model, model remind me of Xenogears? It, it should. It's from Xenogears. It sure is. It is from Xenogears. <laughs> it is. It's, I wonder why. Also, the save points <laughs> that remind you of that. It's Ellie's on the year. I haven't played Xenogears in a long time. What the fuck? My, friend, my friends, the story continues. <laughs> the
There it stands alone. The air is thick around it, drowning out sound and somehow the glare of the night lights. This is our only chance, the mother thinks to herself. This is our only way out. I have to get us out of here. It's warm to the touch. The cockpit eerily and silently opens. Not wasting time, the mother motions for her daughter to climb inside with her. But the girl refuses. The mother looks up and sees a guard in the distance slowly a patrolling closer. She kneels down to her eye level and whispers in frustration that they need to fly to where Daddy is. The daughter backs away from her and the mech. She speaks with a quivering tone. No, that's not the right way. We need to wait here. What? The mother is confused and tries to reach for her daughter. We have to go now. No, the pilot in the dream, Mama. We, we need to wait for the pilot. The daughter says louder as she backs away again. Angel, please. They are going to see us. I am the pilot, and we are going to fly this to where Daddy went. Get in now, please. The daughter backs away and says nothing. Angel, please. I need you. To come with me, she pleads with her right arm outstretched. Don't go in there, Mama. The child shrieks. It's too late. A soldier on the wall shouts and triggers the intruder alarms. Sirens start blaring and the daughter panics, running into her mother's arms. Blinding spotlights quickly discover their whereabouts, illuminating the mother and daughter holding one another under ghostly white light. The pilot will save us. The pilot will save us. The pilot will save us, she says over and over while shaking. The daughter faints in her mother's arms. Angel, Angel, wake up. The mother pats her daughter's face. The sirens continue to blare, and the soldiers are making their way down the walls. The mother looks at her daughter's unconscious face, and then over at the pitch black interior of the open cockpit. My friends, listen carefully. You have a choice to make. If you wish to stay awake with the mother, stand next to the magenta mech near me. If you wish to follow the daughter into the darkest nightmare, stand next to my fellow tour guide, Trajim. <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell. Is, is there Seriously, no one wants to wait. Realize this is, realize this, is, no one, this, is right. this is a split no path. Both stories are going oh. to happen. Yeah, they are. <laughs> this is so sad. I don't know if we have any codes for that side. I, I mean, we did mention using the one from the agent before. Oh, of course, yeah. most people go to the dream. I never went to people the... People going in the mech. Again! I haven't done that. Like I was really there if you never went. Set, uh, it's really good. Yeah. I went to the mech the last three tours. I like the mech. It makes me upset. I don't want to go to the mech. I haven't been to the dream one yet, so I'm checking it out now. I must touch your hat. It hurts my feelings. It's my birthday hat. What? Feels nice. Huh? 
Thank you. It was worthy of your birthday. My friends, your attention, please. In case you're not aware, newcomers, this is a split path. There is no right or wrong answer. Some of you can join Sheen, and some can join me. And next time we have this tour, you can alternate as you please. You do not all need to make the same choice. The story continues. My friend, the mother struggles up the side of the map, careful not to use her broken wrist directly. The oh god, they multiply! <laughs> Wait, did He's you one of them in? now. Well then, my friends, I, Trajim, will be your tour guide through the darkness. And hopefully, Mother will protect us while we descend into the final nightmare. Please, use the blue save point and wait for me on the other Oh, this is some Kingdom Hearts shit. <laughs> Yo, I like Yo, where's that keyblade at? Nice. This is... Oh, there he goes. Goes. I'll oh, save him! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Goodbye! Well. Oh, damn it, Optimus! Kyrie's inside of me? It seemed okay, he <laughs> got crushed. He, he rejoined. The unknown oh. figure jolts awake with awareness. As if they had just fallen from up high. The undulating void around them is giving off voices. The figure listens closely. A slow and faint heartbeat echoes between the scrambled words. They can't make sense of any of it. But, it feels somehow meaningful, important. That's her, no, my. The figure speaks aloud, interrupting the sounds, but stops and carefully moves toward the noises. Please, follow me. Pew up. Oh, good. Oh, it glows. A monumental tree stands tall in the void. There is a warm air of absolute around it. Something unfathomable. Something unifying the voices in the dark. The heartbeat is coming from this tree. This is mine. This was made for me. It was always made for me, the figure says. But where are the wings? Suddenly, the air grows cold. The void quakes and bubbles up with tar. It drips down the tree and an image slowly emerges, reflecting off the black substance. A blood moon. Through every dream, every story, every secret and whisper, I will hunt you, and I will take back what is mine. 
I will devour your soul while your friends watch. Travelers, face me. Face me and fight for your pilot's soul. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. I mean, if you say so. Oh, shit! <laughs> oh, no. It's a weird-ass Roomba. Yo, what the dog doing? Suddenly, a <laughs> tremendous sound erupts from near by shredding the very air into pieces the noise shakes the figures bones and it threatens I'm to ready. split them open with sheer raw power I'm ready to. from out of the nightmarish abyss a shadow of tremendous size creeps like a spider it pulls its heavy carapace burdened with great spines of colorless crystal its face is naught but a maw with three jaws, a single gleaming eye inside its gullet. Crowning its mouth is a heart. Shimmering with all the colors held hostage by the monster. Despite its first roar, the abomination does not scream now. It does not so much as grunt. It simply observes the figure standing in the middle of this nightmare and the dream devourer readies to attack. The figure realizes they have items on them, and they quickly look over what they have. Hammer's last words, and the power crisis, fuse together to become a sun shard. The dreamer's egg crumbles to dust in the figure's hands. My friends, due to your choices from earlier, the figure has but one choice in battle, and that is to use the sun shard for a stagger attack. But will it do anything, or yes, have, have you choice, chosen right? death? for them already. The dream devourer rears back, spines bristling, its carapace crunching together, and with a sudden burst of force, the spines are launched outward like shrapnel. The figure takes out the sun shard and holds it straight out, directing its radiant light toward the dream devourer the monster appears unaffected the needles impale the figure who takes one damage the dream devourer rumbles and opens its mouth and inside is a light a burning light which grows and then erupts outwards launching hellfire up into the sky ready to blanket the area before it in destruction. The figure takes out the sun shard and holds it straight out, directing its radiant light toward the dream devourer. The monster appears unaffected. The hellfire comes down upon the figure, who takes one damage. The dream devourer shifts and groans and begins to close in on itself. Its protective shell shuts, covering up its vulnerable areas with impenetrable material. The figure holds the sun shard straight out, directing its radiant light toward the dream devourer. The monster appears unaffected. Nothing at all happens. The dream devourer opens its mouth and rumbles, and inside the mouth is a light. 
a burning light which grows and then erupts outwards, launching hellfire up into the sky, ready to blanket the area before it in fiery destruction. The figure, futile, holds the sun shard forth, desperate to survive. But willpower alone is insufficient. The radiant light does nothing, and the hellfire comes down upon the figure. Who takes and loses their one final point of damage? Losing definition, their body spilling apart into smoke, their voice dispersing weakly. The figure speaks their last words. This isn't how the legend ends. I was so close. To find it. I I have to save. All that remains is the sound of a slow, muffled heartbeat, gently fading to nothing, to silence. I wonder, I wonder how much more of this they can take. My friends, it is time to wake up from this nightmare. Please, follow me back, and we will wait for the other group to finish. Oh, thanks a lot, guys. Optimus Prime died again. Yay! What? what? <laughs> Not here. Well. Oh, look, it's the cute. So they do better. Uh, you too. No, don't open your goddamn menu. I think. Did the slap my hand thing again? Here's my theory. Slap my hand! What is he with the back? I had a coke today. Shut up. Let's go. One coke causes you to go to the bathroom twice. It, it seems like Hammer's last fast. words just. I don't have. Uh, <laughs> like he said, we had a, a staggering attack. Uh, it seems like Hammer's last word just makes use, our like, weapon. I had to use like two like, hands to get to that people. speed. Just... Mm. And so the Dream Man probably needs to see crumbled crumbled with something. Your hand. Yeah, we probably need <laughs> the Dream Man and the other hands. With the other yeah. three, yeah. how much more of it? Yeah. 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 The biggest yeah. yeah. question here is what was Hammer's last word? Trajim described the Dream Man as the Dreamers. There other items that were very much so Dreamers are on and we fucking died! That's what I was saying. Fun. Dreamers. Yes. It seems like no, but seriously, uh, the last words were just a buff to the, <laughs> the power <laughs> crisis. Yeah, the ether veil yeah. is the same thing with the pilot shield. Oh, okay. Yeah, we should definitely feel the dreamer stuff. Unless yeah. we can get the mermaid set. Maybe if possible. Well, <laughs> um, that's only if nobody gets caught in the first. Yeah, we, we really need to find the, the best. 
the best route and take yeah, everyone there all at once. The right. problem is he well, can't go into I want to give you this. There, except during a tour. So, it's emitting uh, radiation. Do okay. harm to me. <laughs> and the second. Well, if you use the shortcuts... It, no it, it won't. It won't so. harm. It's the matrix of leadership. It's, It'll be. it's literally filled with god energy. I don't know. Gods are kind of scary. Not Primus. <laughs> Come on. No, Optimus no, Prime no. died. Someone else has to take the mantle of leadership. And leave the decision up to you all. Oh, yes. This guy can. There we go. They are. No, he's not worthy. My guess is what happens is. <laughs> I, I think what is supposed to happen is. I mean, look, it's glowing next. It's glowing when it comes to But if we win our fight, we can wake up and I mean, still I fight as the, the daughter. It seems like if you're able Maybe. to win that fight without actually entering the past, the oh, most important thing is not losing that arm. Yeah, perhaps. But I don't know how to do it. And, or maybe what's supposed to happen is, for the best ending, you get the code to get the ether amplifier, and then the daughter wakes up and uses it. Because you might need her ether to use it. I'm not sure. I understand what's going on. They, at the start, they talked about the ether amplifier. I think it's both. In the mech. Yeah. Yes, that that's it's a reference to the painter actually because the painter yeah, I was, I goes into oh, okay. get a big laser. Yeah. Yeah. The painter goes into the mech and you know Veltal oh, is his uh, mech just like that mech over there is oh, Sophia's mech. Um, yeah. Sophia, which we assume is either the mother or the, or the daughter, probably the daughter. In this yeah. When when the daughter goes to the the dream world, it's referred to as like the figure. It seems like that's like it, I know there's a lot of reincarnation stuff. Maybe that's the like the pilot original. Yeah, the pilot's likely the painter. Yeah. 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 Like painter reincarnation in a dream in a narrative of a narrative, a sub narrative. Oh, <laughs> it's complicated. Um, also, the guy, the, the, the opponent that's like, oh, I'll find your soul, it's like, it, it is the scientist from the Asian, like that character. Oh, maybe, yeah. It gave me vibes I mean, of, um, obvious. of the appraiser when, who's from the like, Asian there was that me. evil stuff. Tell me, tell me again. The, like, the, the guy, were, were you in the, the dream just now, the nightmare, the tunnel nightmare? No. Okay, the, the the enemy in that. Uh, I was with um, the person who <laughs> talks. <to him. laughs> the boss fight. I was I was with Roki. I I had to go leave and come back. Oh. Oh. Well, that's that's what that is. Have you been on that before? Yeah. Have you been in the the nightmare, the third nightmare before? Yeah. Okay. So the person who's like, "I'll take your soul, travelers, face me," like that person is the scientist from the agent, the reincarnation, or like the the you know the the, the villain of the painter, Pip. the villain of the appraiser, like literally Pip. all the villains, it's the same guy. <laughs> Yeah, I, I see the resemblance. Maybe he should just... <laughs> I mean, in the agent, in the battening of the agent, it's literally described as like going to different like timelines that at I the agree end. With. Yeah. The only thing I don't under, quite understand and I need more context for is the man in the corner. Well, that's, that's season two. That doesn't have much to do with the story. Indeed. It is. in the early days of I love this stupid little thing I can do for just blowing my head off. <laughs> Sheen sounded like in genuine pain when the man in the corner appeared. Uh, yeah, that's, yeah. Oh, he's, he's he mentioned how he was like not even in the right spot worse. or something. Like, yeah, he's not even supposed to be in this part of the story, which yeah. I'm guessing is what he would have said after that. I think it was the like, dream oh, area. Oh, 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 I don't think the man was yeah, supposed to be in the, the nightmare zone. <laughs> He's been in the nightmare before, he was in the second nightmare. Um, oh the yeah. There's a little bit of the dream eaters where... No, we're fucked up. It was fucked up. Yeah, he was. After the, after the riddle. Fell into a pattern. I don't know, I'm so sorry. Yo, Luna, show him up and do it yourself. Do the thing you do. This pattern. Involved neglect and weakness. You know, when you go near your cryptid, you go... Neglect to 
Yeah, that. Oh, my God. Yeah, that. Oh, I'm gonna make sure I didn't break the door. Oh, my God. Break it. Controller? Good, we're good. I'm gonna g I'm giving you a negative view on y'all. Oh, they're back. Oh, are they back? Did I'll they go, die? Go, go. No. Same. How did you guys get the same time? No, we 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 only had one choice again. What made him? Did he just start speaking? He started spinning packs. The dark arts of the first dance into an item of the sun star, which gave a thief a dagger option. And that's his story. Yeah, 100%. Might have to do with the mech. The mech was said to have like thick ether around it. So I think he confirms that the AI has to be here. Why would he do anything? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I think next time we're gonna take all the Squad dreamer items. Because in the nightmare, the dream egg was, was referred to as dreamer's egg. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and then we had the dreamer's belong, so yeah. Yeah, yeah, and there's a, there's a, there's a third one that we, I forget the name of, but there's a third dreamer item. Totem? I got dreamer's totem. That's probably it then. Oh. And then so wrong, yeah. Hey, Luna. What? <laughs> and since what? the little girl has the items, that's probably what we need to use. <laughs> Man! Brass in your My room. friends. <laughs> Apologies. <laughs> your attention, please. My friends, gather around. Your attention, please. Welcome back. The grand finale awaits. Listen carefully. The daughter opens her eyes slowly. The nightmare has left her head heavy and her mind in a fog. She hangs sideways in the passenger seat, suspended by the belts. She calls for her mother and struggles to unbuck herself, but stops when she sees the nightmare come true in the sky. Far above where the wrecked magenta mech lies, the black clouds part and the dark monument shows itself. Its monstrous form is like a growing void devouring reality as it approaches. Bolts of fire begin to drop everywhere, filling the sky with red, the daughter, unable to free herself, wishes none of this ever happened. Wishes her whole life was just a bad dream. Wishes she was safe with her mother. She shuts her eyes tight and wishes for a place no monsters could ever find. The magenta mech vanishes in the flames. My friends, please use the cold save point. Wait, what? The cold save point? Well, damn. <sighs> oh, they just renamed it, I think. Oh no, they're dead. Oh no! Same for me. <laughs> oh no! I guess they just it's been disarmed! Could be wrong. Yeah. 
Yep. Same thing. You got the Thank you. Quick peek, can you use the major? I can't fix it, don't worry. I have a wrench. I can't lift it. He has a wrench. Well, what about mystical power from a robotic god? Yes, I do have that too. There's always duct tape. If I strain hard enough, you can use me as a soldering iron. Okay. I'm not that enough. Hey, Corbu, got it. Pizza. Pizza. Food solves everything. Pizza. It's not working. I'm almost done. I don't know if you use my more powerful uh, magic, they, they have a lot of vertical. Wrong thing. No, my friends, make sure your world music is turned on. Oh. Dearest travelers, the story continues. Another worldly tree sits bathed under shifting blue light. The girl opens her eyes and is finally not met with fire, but complete silence. She manages to unbuckle her seat belt and crawls over to the pilot seat. Mama, she speaks meekly. Mama, wake up. The little girl crawls into her mother's lap and holds her tight. But there's no response. Mama. Mama, wake up. Mama? She weeps for an answer. But no one would hear her cries. Not here. Beneath this ocean distortion. Not ever. Welcome to the neutral ending of the pilot. Mm -hmm. Always neutral. How could it get worse than this? <laughs> That's not easy. <laughs> Don't, <try. laughs> Don't ask. You might find out. The neutral ending. You have no idea. <laughs> Do you want to take up the grass though? I'm being surrounded. I think they're all they're both dead because they're here after all. <laughs> Wait, how yeah, do we get the bad ending? Uh, seems like you can't mess up you the, the fight with the soldier. Yeah, I'm seeing the peace sign, sign, by the way. I think we, we always win. What? I'm seeing the peace sign. Oh, well then. this one's only happened three times. Yeah. There's the premiere, the there's the first, and then there's, I think, maybe yeah, one, I think five times? Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Okay. <laughs> yeah, Same in the indies. premiere we got the neutral as well. Hmm. You see, but they were like, this is the neutral ending? Bro, I was so <laughs> confused. That was great. Was there anything else earlier in the story that deviated from previous times this has been told? Um, when the girl uses her aura, there's been different color shifts. That's true. Um, At the beginning, there's some changes. Last time, the, the father brought home a bottle to the mother, but this time he brought caps. Oh, I mean, the capsule can be 
Yeah, the bottle of pills. <laughs> yeah. It's it's her medication. Oh, I'm glad you oh yeah. Them. And then a year passes, and then it's gone anyway. So they have more of these. Uh, oh, yeah. right one next week. Another thing yeah. that um is different I mean, each time is now. that. Oh, we uh, can no, use like different items photo. each time we choose. Yeah, the the all three correlation and foes we've learned yeah, about. Yeah, it's just turning the stand off all of you. I think I think that's uh, over there. So I will align everyone. Hey people, can you guys align near at the? Can you guys align near at the near at the Mac? We're gonna take a little picture. We're doing another. Yeah. Yeah. Photo. I, I'm going. I'm going somewhere. I'm going somewhere next week for three days. A group photo to celebrate the destruction of the magenta Mac. I mean the neutral ending of the pilot. <laughs> To celebrate a dead Yay, fucking so mother. <laughs> to celebrate a screw up of her. Yay! We did horrible! Now I really don't feel like a person! Accomplish nothing of note. Please, what the fuck? Coffee's trying to talk to us. Neutral ending forever. Neutral ending! Forever. Beautiful. Coffee, have you taken the photo yet? Yes. Wait, 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 wait. Everyone, don't oh, move, okay. don't move, don't move. Everyone. Did you blink? Would you like me? Wait, shh. Everyone. <laughs> would you like me to raise your expectations just a bit? Sure. You're sure, sure. <laughs> Whatever that means. The neutral ending cuts deep in it hurts doesn't it but wouldn't you expect the good ending to rise beyond anything you've ever seen in vr to surpass your expectations to bring you to new heights wouldn't you expect that from such a horrible thing in the opposite direction he's got a point though. <laughs> My friends, place your hope in me. Place your hope in VR travelers. The good ending will change everything. Good yes. luck. I'm placing my hope in you by oh viewing you with, with more Primus energy. <laughs> well, I'm just hoping we can figure out how to get that good ending. Hey, hey, don't... I heard it's a bad idea to uh, that was smoke Zen. <laughs> okay, okay. I, I, so I really don't think taken. you smoking Sheen. Yeah. Yeah. Don't smoke Sheen. Don't smoke Sheen. I don't think I do. Hmm. I'm gonna spam the I don't either, but I hope I'm cool enough to. I smoke a chicken nugget more. I hope you're going to send us only the best. How? Only the best. so cursed as when I go astray. What am I? A pilot. I thought we were... A butterfly. <laughs> a pilot. <laughs> a kite. It's not a, a pilot. Airplane. But it's a riddle. Dang it. I, I thought we already done with the riddle. Do we really need another one? <laughs> Bro, that was a riddle. to be a riddle. I was the question is, is, Welcome to VR is travel. riddle? Do all riddles really need another you? The answer is yes. <laughs> Fair point. I have, but no comment. Uh, I'm gonna go truck this way. Uh, I, got, I have a request, have a request right. for everyone. My friends, this is the end a of the request? tour. I would like to thank everyone for attending. For those of you newcomers here, your attention please. My name is Sheen, one of the tour guides of VR Travelers. 
We are a group of friends that write stories in VR and create beautiful worlds with wholesome team effort and voice acting. I'll take your knee. With all of our efforts together and the community support, we create these story tours that you've been on. We do this for free. We do this for fun. But we do ask one thing in return. We ask that you join our Discord community. The Discord ID can be found as my status in VR chat. Add me as a friend in VR chat to see my status and join the Discord. However, I'm just gonna add you as a friend. Friends, if you wish to go further and support us to create more of these stories, these interactive adventures in VR, we do have a Patreon. The Patreon information can be found in the info channel of our Discord. Please feel welcome to join our Patreon, as that will grant you access to many features, like the ability to play as NPCs in today's tour, such as the Dream Eaters. <laughs> it will also grant you access to our secret Discord channel, as well as all of the weird stuff on our Patreon, as well as the CWT a community writing project where the community writes a tour together, which the tour guides will perform upon its completion. All right. My friends, that's the end. I'll drop a portal to the after party in about two minutes. The floor is yours. Yeah, the floor is mine. Hey, meal. people, can I have a request wow. for you all? Can I have a request for you all really Pew. quick? So, uh -huh. Request? That person over there, it's his birthday. Can we sing happy birthday for him? Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Let's go, let's go. <laughs> let's go. So how many punches you want? No, no, no punching. Yeah, <laughs> 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 the swords. Yes. So yeah. everyone, if everyone so is ready, happens. I will I will count to three and then we start singing, okay? One, I'm gonna scream. Yeah. It's alright. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 okay. so okay. right. Keep throwing presents, guys! Please Three. Do. <laughs> Three! Come on, people, start! Three, two, one! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.